<laughs> Welcome to our live Friday morning show. I'm Bill Bethens. Hey, hello there. I'm Greg McQuay. November is American Diabetes Month. Richmond Dr. Mitchell Waskin is back with us today to talk about diabetic foot care and to tell us all about his annual selfie footy campaign. Great to see you again, Doc. Thanks nice so much for coming you. in. Uh, tell us about this problem with diabetes in feet and where the connection is and how serious is it for people that are living with diabetes? Well, diabetes is an epidemic in this country. Uh, about 30 million people have it and there's about 90 million people that are what's called pre-diabetic. And while we all think of complications of diabetes being losing your eyesight or losing kidney function, actually the number one complication of diabetes are foot problems. And it's the foot problems that lead to the infections, the ulcerations, and the amputations. And what's important about that is that once you have that first major amputation, there's actually a 50% mortality rate in the first year. Half of the people will die in the first year. Half of them? Half and, of them. and how many amputations are we talking about here? In the country, there's around 70 to 80,000 amputations a year. Well, that's about 35,000 people that uh, potentially yeah could it's, be lethal. It, it, it's a significant amount. In fact, the five-year mortality rate is actually higher than the mortality rate from breast cancer and Hodgkin's lymphoma combined. How can you help prevent some of those issues as if, if a patient uh, is living with that? What we recommend, at least as far as the foot is concerned, is that it's been shown that if once a year you do what's called a comprehensive diabetic foot exam, where we just look really in detail at the risk factors, that cause these complications, problems with the circulation, problems with the nerves giving feeling down to your feet, um, deformities in your foot, simple things like bunions or hammer toes or bone spurs that can be points of irritation in a shoe. We look very closely at those things and if you do things to help pr prevent or correct some of those problems, it's been shown to reduce by 85 percent all of those serious events that have happened. Wow. So if you have bunions, or uh, I've had bone spurs in my feet uh, for years, and, and it's been a pretty consistent problem, this, this is a little warning sign, so to speak? Yeah, abs abs absolutely. Uh, we, it's usually recommended that if we see a diabetic who comes in, and they're perfectly healthy except for their diabetes, circulation is good, nerves are good, but they have things like a bunion or hammer toe, uh, we know that if down the road, they should not be so healthy. They should lose some circulation or lose feeling in their feet. Those are where most of the problems are going to start on those bony prominences. So it's usually recommended go in and fix those things while you're healthy because you don't quite know what your situation is going to be years down the road. Doctor, you want to um, help the cause generally, uh, having a little fun, a little That's levity. Right. Uh, tell us about this selfie footy campaign well, that you've uh, launched. Well, this is our second annual selfie footy. In fact, you helped us last mm -hmm. year we'll launch it. And what we do is we ask people to take a picture of the, some funny socks or a funny foot. Maybe they paint something on their feet or get some funny pedicure. Take a picture, post on our Facebook page, and the Foot and Ankle Center will donate $5 for every picture. Pictures are unlimited that you can post on there. Um, and we, each Friday, will vote on who has the most likes. We'll, on there and they will get a free pedicure in the medical grade pedicure salon that's located inside of the foot and ankle center. Wait oh. a minute, hold on a second. So we take a picture with socks on if we're not particularly proud of our feet and, or with your socks off if you want to and put something on and we can win a free pedicure? Absolutely. There's a, there's a, uh, <laughs> but you have to do your socks. I'm just saying. Uh, Those are killer well, socks, you know, this was for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I've been wearing pink, so I'm going to switch over and, and, and well, try I, a different I, color. I, I think I might have you beat. Oh, man. Oh, man. A little, little competitiveness coming oh, up. Little... Those are nice. Are those uh, uh, pineapples? Little pineapple. What those are pineapples? Say? All right. What, well, what I'll, I'll see you your pink socks. <laughs> And I will see your pineapples, okay, and I'll and raise you a lobster. Oh, oh man. man. Yes, how about a lobster sock or a sock lobster? Forget oh, about for rock lobster. From Boston, I think you might win that Lobster. One. These are uh, yeah. gifts from uh, our, our colleague, uh, John Ives. He, he knew I liked lobster, <laughs> being from New England. And uh, so, listen, I think we all win. How about that? I okay. think that's good. So what you need to do is take a picture of your socks, of your... <laughs> of your feet and go to the Facebook page, which is facebook.com mm -hmm. slash the foot and ankle center. 
or you can just go to our website, which is easy to remember. It's actually the same as our phone number. Our phone number is 320-FOOT, okay. and our website is 320-FOOT.com. And right on the main page, you'll see a link that can bring you where you can post your selfie footy. Post in the comments section there. Get your friends to like it. Get your friends to, to post it. And get that free medical grade pedicure. He might hit dislike. He left his up. Virginia this morning, the best looking feet in town. <laughs> we need a pedicure bad. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Doc, thank you so much. Listen, for more information and uh, all the resources on the diabetic foot care on the Selfie Footy campaign, just visit us online at wtvr.com/vt.